It's the first Mailbag Monday of the year. Welcome back. You didn't think I was going to stop doing these, did you? Okay, the first thing says cell phone accessories. Yeah, nothing else. <laughs> wire. Really tiny wire. Hmm. Oh, I remember. So, this is super tiny, fine wire. Let's get in really, really close to it here. I mean, that's super fine. Where's millimeters here? This is, I believe, about... Oh, this one's got wire cages on it, doesn't it? It's at least 28 gauge. It might be lighter. But th this stuff is intended for wire wrapping. Andreas, the uh, guy with the Swiss accent, uh, a couple months back, did a little bit of a dissertation on wire wrapping, which is an old point-to-point -point, uh, prototyping method. And this wire would basically be wrapped tight around square pins on the back of component sockets and components. It's not really done that much anymore, but the reason that I got this and in a bunch of assorted colors is to use it as essentially bodge wire on, uh, on circuit boards. Where is one that's got some in it? This thing here, I had to do a little bit of bodging on basically because I buggered up the uh the tracks when I was testing and troubleshooting and whatnot so I ended up just uh using bits of component lead but the neater way to do it is with insulated wire specifically really really tiny insulated wire the other place where we've seen wire pretty much this skinny is several months ago in the mailbag I got these which are surface mount LEDs soldered onto wire tails, which I'm intending to use at some point in model railroading projects because they are just so darn tiny. They can be used for marker lights, stuff like that. 10 pieces wrapping wire, tin pleated copper wire, part number DM-30-1030 AWG, 3 meters length. I got these from 22 New Century. Currently they're selling for 312 American or 426 Canadian. And currently it has some shipping price on it. But I paid $2.48 American with free shipping. Nothing really to say about it. Plastic and PVC and tin plated copper. 25 grams, 10 pieces, colorful wrapping wire. Okay, next thing in is... Hmm. Do we want to know what they tried to call it? Nah, doesn't matter. Let's just get in. We'll find out the old fashioned way. Some ICs. Okay. What are these ICs? These are OPA 2134PA, which, if I remember correctly, are op amps or some kind of amplifier chip. Let's go look at the listing and see if that jogs my memory. Five pieces op amp IC Burr Brown slash BB slash TI Dip 8 OPA 2134 PA OPA 2134 PAG 100% genuine and new from Polita 2008 free shipping. I paid $2.87 or for people that prefer American dollars $2.10. And while I was looking this up, it jogged my memory. This is going to be for a headphone amp project based on this Simoy headphone amplifier, pocket headphone amplifier. I've even got an actual Altoids tin to put it in. But 
the Wikipedia page isn't where I heard about it. Originally, I heard about it from uh, from Dustin Watts' channel. He's he doesn't have a huge pile of videos, but that those that he does are quite interesting. He's got a series on building this little amplifier. It's it's pretty straightforward. Um, if you want to go and check his channel out. But anyway, that's uh, that's what I got these for. Okay, next in it says cable, and then some numbers. Hmm. That's we've already had wire. Oh, okay. These actually have. There's another one in there. That all that's in there? Yeah, only three of them. Okay, what are these little guys? A module, obviously, with cables on it. So I guess that technically. Sort of counts. I don't know. What have we got on here? We have an inductor and a capacitor. That just screams power module of some sort. We have four diodes. What's the in? What's the out? This would be easier if I zoomed in, wouldn't it? So there's four diodes over here. There's another one. What looks? Oh, you know, it's called a diode, so it must be a diode. Um, what have we got in here? couple of resistors, a capacitor, and an IC. Which is a PT4115. Oh, there's a clue. LED out. Okay. So the red and white wires are outputs. Does this side say anything? Not really. Okay. Well, let's uh, go do a bit of looking up. Constant current LED driver DC 12 volts to DC 3 to 12 volts, 900 milliamps for 10 watt high power LED. From City Beauty 88. The current price from this seller for one is $5.99. That's not what I paid. I got the three of them. For two ninety seven, and if you look at other listings, you can find them for you know, relatively cheap. So what does it say here? Ten watt LED driver, DC input twelve to twenty four volts, non waterproof. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, output three to twelve volts, but it's constant current at nine hundred milliamps. Storage temperature doesn't matter for one ten watt LED in series. And three in parallel. Hmm. Don't know if I'm going to use it for that or not. Hey, I got some 10 watt LEDs in the last mailbag or the one before that. Hmm. All right, next in, it's LED diodes. Hmm. As opposed to non diode LEDs? I don't know. Oh, it's a bunch of these little, uh, I think these are one watt LEDs. I've got some more of these around here somewhere, don't I? Oh yeah, actually, I've got some on a cheesy little ring light thing that I built a while ago. Hang on. Yeah, this cheesy little one over here, I haven't used it for a while because it didn't really work and it kind of muffled the audio and it kind of got in the way, but it does sort of work. And I'm just using a constant voltage kind of power supply with a big beefy resistor in series to uh, to limit the current on them. Those ones look, hmm, natural white, maybe warm white. Not quite sure what these ones are, but I guess we can put them to the test pretty quickly, can't we? 10 pieces, 1 watt cool white, 10,000 to 15,000 K high power LED chip beads with PCB light USA. I got them from Cag Hog. I couldn't find the exact listing that I bought them from, but this is an auction that he's got running right now. Well, when I say right now, it'll be expired by the time you guys see it, but uh, uh, the, the current starting price is dollar 35 and that's what i paid for my for the ones that i got is dollar 35 canadian or 99 us but um i said 
it seems like he uh, has these same ones on for auction regularly, so that's cool. I'll link to this auction, even though it'll be expired by the time you guys uh, see it. And, of course, free shipping. Now, he's saying that he ships from California, which is kind of bullshit because, as you saw in the package, this clearly came from China. Well, here we go. Um... 3.4 volts, max 3.6. Okay, well that gives us something to go by when we're testing, that anyways. Let's just see what these look like. And it says they're cool whites. Yeah, I don't think this guy shipped from California. Mr. Dong Chen. Okay, so I've got three and a quarter volts, more or less, on here. Uh, which should be conservative. And I've got it uh, set to... Come on, behave at the current limit at 50 milliamps which is nowhere near the limit of these things but I just want to start conservatively so I'll turn that guy on and apply some volts to this yeah that's cool wait all right um, I got to come up with a better way of doing this for you guys I don't want to put sunglasses over it because that might color color it a little bit but I think, I think maybe if the light's reflecting off something white. So you can see that that looks pretty cool, white, kind of bluish. And what kind of current was that drawing? Was that limiting? Yeah, that was hitting the current limit. What was it pulling it down to? 2.5. Two point eight three. Okay, so let's turn the current limit up to hundred milliamps. We're still current limiting at that. And it's still pulling it down to three point zero, so we can go higher. Try two fifty milliamps. That's not going into current limiting, so it's drawing 189 milliamps, and it's pulling it down to, oh, well, it's not pulling it down, okay. Well, let's crank the voltage up then. Three point four zero, yeah, and that's current limiting. It's current limiting at... 255 milliamps, more or less. That's not even getting warm. Okay, so that's reasonable. 250 milliamps at 3.4 volts. Those are nice and bright, actually. I'm not sure what I'm going to use them for. That's not the point. I got them because they were on auction for cheap. But it's always good to have some bright LEDs around here for a variety of reasons. And the last thing is also an LED module, according to that. Mm. I'm being so ginger cutting along the edge of the package because I don't want to cut into whatever's in there. Because they're not always what they seem to be. Oh, it's an LED ring module. Now that I know where it is, I can cut. Aha, this is another... NeoPixel or WS2812 LED ring. How many are on here? Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Ah, I've got some 8 pixel ones, but I, I think this is the first 12. Yeah, I do have one 8 pixel one. I don't have any. I don't have a bunch of them. Now I have concentric rings. Nice. So, I think I've talked about these things before. Basically, it just takes three pins to drive them. Power, ground, and a data, a serial data that's clocked in from, say, an Arduino or something. So, let's, uh, let's go check on what this is. RGB LED ring, 12-bit WS2812-5050, which is the size of the LEDs. RGB LED plus integrated driver module for Arduino from Shenglongsi. Um... Currently selling for dollar seventy three American or two thirty six Canadian. I paid two seventy three when I bought it, so it's even a better deal right now. And free shipping, of course. 
You can also get these things in, in different sizes. Um, you can create concentric rings out of them like that. So, so far I've got the two rings. You can get six, 16 is the next one up. You can actually get some that are in a 60 uh, LED ring configuration, which some people have used for a clock module, which is kind of a cool idea. What does it say here? 50 millimeters, six grams, four to seven volts, ideally five. Uh, single wire communication LED driver chip WS2812B. Okay, here's the stuff from today's mailbag in all its glory. The pixel ring, the uh, WS2812 ring, took one month to get here. These op amps, let's quickly look at my notes, took seven weeks. These LED drivers, which I think are going to come in handy. Uh, where are they here? They took six weeks to get here. The wire wrapping wire, 30 gauge bodge wire, whatever you want to call it. That took three weeks and that was the speed winner this time. And bringing up the rear is the LEDs, which took two whole months. Oh yeah. The listing called them like 10,000 Kelvin color temperature. That's bullshit. The bag says that they're 6,000 to 6,500, which is a lot more reasonable number. Just can't trust anybody these days. Hell, I've probably made some mistakes. Who knows? Um, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, if you want to talk about all this stuff or what happened or what's going on, please leave it down in the comments. Thanks as always to my Patreon supporters who help, uh, help pay for some of this stuff that shows them in the mailbag supports my bad habits. Although less bad habits today since I'm on call this week for work. Mailbags will continue through the year. They're going to be happening back on the normal schedule of every second week. December is special. Every year I do them once a week in December. But man, I'd go broke even with the help of the Patreon guys if I was to do that every week for the whole year. And you guys will probably get bored because I'd start running out of interesting things and start buying crap. Thanks once again for watching. I will talk to you later.